Hi guys, this today Cinch Go Super Monkey Bike from Cinch. Absolutely amazing bike. Had it for about a week. Can't say enough about it. Lots of pros, a couple of cons um, for it, but we'll get through to that one into this video. So this is the 750 watt off-road version. Again, like I say, absolutely amazing. Got it in red with the black. Front and back lights. Yeah, there you guys can see on that. That's the main beam. That's the low beam. Reckon about 50 mile range in it. I've not really had that out of it. About 30 mile range. I've been doing Uber Eats on it. But again, quick enough for charging up. Quick enough to get about. So yeah, that's that. What I'm gonna do is give you a bit of up close personal of it now. And we'll get you on my chest. And we'll do some POVs with it. Does estimate about 25 miles per hour which easy goes up to that and with pedal assist and like I said I cannot say enough about this bike the only downside to do say when you hit certain speed bumps the front mud guard pings a cowbell um, on the front frame which I'm going to try and sort out in the next few days put some rubber over it wheels 20 inch wheels get you up and close to it so yeah 20 inch fat wheels same sticker, it's a bit dirty guys. That's that. Well, that is on the low beam setting. And that's the main beam. Again, it ridiculous amount how bright that light is. It's full on daylight here. So yeah, that's it. Singe go, Super Monkey in red and black. Right, I'm gonna get you on my chest and I'm gonna show you some of the settings, how to go. Um, do gotta be careful because we are out and about in the public and this is private land um, for it where we are now but we want to be careful obviously people are walking around so here you go guys so guys here we are we're on the siege go sorry if your phone's in the way that's on a quad lock uh, for like doing your Uber Eats um, so much handier having it um, on here instead of my pocket Trying to ride your bike. Uh, that was a great investment. They want to get one of them, get one like it's worth it. So this is the bike in action. As you can see, 99% uh, charge. And uh, color screen on the F2. Uh, I believe the version ones of this, so generation one, uh, doesn't have the color screen. Uh, I've left the not sticky over the top. It's done screens get scratched, etc. We're in number one at the minute. So what we're going to do, we're going to come down to the bottom here now guys, and we're going to go to our first hill. Just show you how pretty much easy it is to get up a hill. I'm just pedaling nice and easy, no pressure in it at all. Alright, and there it goes, knock it to the two. This will easy get up there in number two. This is the off-road version, 750 miles there, plenty quick enough going through. Also when you come to like downhills like this, this is like a mega hill, you see what we just come up. Um, but yeah, right, mate. So when you're coming down the hill, uh, it runs away with itself. Ah, like all the brakes, you'll see, see what I mean. Literally just runs away with itself. We just come to 20 miles per hour. Mega quick. Slow like that. So this is absolutely unreal. A little bit of off roading. Straight over that hill. So 
that's in number two. So go there, nice and easy. As you can see, 99 hasn't dropped yet. Um, like I said, we get off 30 mile, I reckon, really flies out, but depending on how fast we're going all the time on it. Right, mate. If you don't ride it too hard, you keep it in like pedal one, pedal two, or number three, then you should get about a 30 mile range. Number four, <laughs> so you can picture what number five is like. When we get to the bottom of this hill, we'll put it as number five. No point in doing it while we're in uh, on the hill. Look, guys, I can't say enough about this place. Yeah, right, guys. It's 20 odd miles per hour because you would do some serious damage. Look at you guys, let's see what that. Oh, 
the bus way again. Slap thing in sound as well, so we got the north guard. Hitting the frame, all the certain pumps. Down the bus on the rubber on. Let it stop that from going. Right, mate. That was a trend that we passed before. We've done a, a bit of a trek there, we've gone around. And it's still saying 99. We can't know. Dude, oh, wow. So many bumps there. Arse numbing, let's say. So I want the seats actually. The seat is pretty comfy. It takes a little bit to get used to it first, but. It is pretty comfy. We can't get through here, it's not doing the boss way. Back down. So what I do find with it though guys, as well, because the size of the bike, it is pretty big and it needs some getting used to these size tyres I've never played with a size like this one before and you have to the tyres so yeah we take some juice to get used to get around these corners and stuff like that so you wonder what they're doing here it's that busway they're like the only one with the busway it's the only link around the whole town Decided to put a cycle path on each side and put them put trap lights in, etc. So, what I'm going to do could be pretty good. I'm going to wait here with these traffic lights for when it turns green. See, so if you get one, guys, I'm going to link it all in the description. Um, where you can get one of these from. Go on, lad.
show. Enjoy.